the cool thing about it is I used ChatGPT to make this course. And I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of how I did that and how I was able to make this mini course that now has over a thousand students. Welcome back to Making Money with AI. I'm Dave Espino. And if you want to learn the best ways to make money using AI, then you've come to the right place. I'm inviting you to get your free AI newsletter at the link below. I've been making money online for 25 years, and I'd like to be your coach and help you make money with AI too. Okay, let's get into today's video. In today's video, I want to share how I made a mini course in just one afternoon and how that mini course now has over a thousand students in it. Let me share my screen and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see here, this course is called Self-Guided Learning with ChatGPT. Discover how to use ChatGPT AI for self-guided learning on a variety of topics. So it's a course on how to use ChatGPT to learn any kind of topic, right? As you can see, is a highly rated course. It has 4.6 out of 5 rating. It has 1,014 students, and I updated it on February 2024. So very recently made this course. The cool thing about it is I used ChatGPT to make this course. And I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of how I did that and how I was able to make this mini course that now has over 1,000 students. So I'm going to go back over here to ChatGPT, and I'm going to say, please create a course outline for a 90-minute course on the following topic self-guided learning with ChatGPT. Now, by the way, this particular platform here told me that this was a course that was in demand. This platform, it has an AI that showed me this is an important topic, right? That there's a lot of demand for this topic. So that's why I went over to ChatGPT and I said, hey, let's make a course on this in-demand topic. That's very, very key. You always want to be marketing something that's in high demand. Uh, so I said, the course should provide a comprehensive guide to self-guided learning with ChatGPT, focusing on how learners can effectively utilize AI-driven resources for personalized uh, learning experiences, should emphasize practical strategies for setting goals, curating content, managing time, and leveraging ChatGPT as a learning companion, et cetera. So then it gave me the outline. Here's the outline, introduction, module one, module two, module three, et cetera. And then it said course materials and resources, target audience, etc. I said, I would like your help to create the course slides for this course. This would be PowerPoint presentation, Google Slides presentation. I said, what is the best way you can help me with this, right? You're having a conversation with ChatGPT. It's not just you trying to come up with everything. You can ask it, what's the best way to do this? And then it says, to assist you in creating the course slides, I can provide detailed content outlines for each slide, including key points, suggested visuals, and speaker notes. This way, you'll have a clear structure to follow when designing the actual slides in your presentation software, like PowerPoint or Google Slides, et cetera. Here's how we can break it down. So it showed how, how we can break it down. And then the next part of the conversation is thank you. Let's begin with adding sub content to the first slide while also removing speaker notes. I don't need those. Slide one, et cetera. So I gave it the title and then it gave me the sub content. I said, please give me three most important bullet points to add to the slide or the subsequent slide to this one. So it gave me three important bullet points to add. Now this is all I really need is I need these three bullet points because I can now just narrate these bullet points. I could just speak them verbatim as they are in the presentation. This is good. Technically, I would title this slide, slide 1A, et cetera. And then it goes ahead and does that. I said, this is great. Please apply the same treatment to the remaining slides you proposed, titling them 2A, 3A, 4A, et cetera, and each containing the three most important bullet points for that given topic. So it did that. Here's 2A, here's 3A. So it's literally creating the slides for me, right? The content of the slides. So it go, goes on and it completes the entire course for me. And then it stopped right about here. So I said, please continue with slides 9 through 12. And it continues to closing remarks. I said, thank you. I said, in looking at these, I would like the sets of three bullet points to be more presentation ready, meaning that I'll be able to present the bullet points to the students as is. I want it just basically handed to me on a silver platter. Currently, the bullet points are written as notes to the teacher but I need them written as statements to teach from, if that makes sense. Please start over removing the quotation marks. So up above it had 
in some cases it had quotation marks. Certainly, I'll revise the bullet points to make them presentation ready, starting from slide 1A, covering the subsequent slides as requested. So it did that, and now it made it much more easy for me to just start speaking that out very, very easily. So went ahead and completed the course. I said, thank you. Can you give me more detail on this statement? Utilize the SMART criteria. And because I wasn't familiar with SMART over here, one of these was talking about the SMART criteria, this one right here. So I said, give me some more detail on that so I can teach it, right? So I can basically narrate it. And then it gave me the SMART criteria. And I said, it will mistake. So I went ahead and fixed it. And I say, would you be able to create a new image for each of the 12 slides? And it says, I, I can help create images for each of the 12 slides you've outlined. Let's start with the first one, et cetera. So it gave me an image. And I said, please, I forgot to say this, but is it possible to make it in 16 by 9 aspect ratio and all future images for this project? So it made a 16 by 9, which fits perfectly on a page. Or you can use it underneath the title page for each section. Uh, that way, you're adding some color and some imagery to your course. So I went ahead and gave me images. Uh, for each of these pages. There's another one. There's another one. It just did this automatically based on the theme of that content, right? So here it says, here's the image encapsulating the theme of tracking progress and reflective learning in a self-guided educational context. Then it continues with the rest of them. And now I've got slide content. I've got images. So now I can create the slides and then I can just simply go ahead and present the slides. Then I said, please give me a detailed course description for this course. Keep the languaging not too formal, but not too casual. And then I said, please give me four key learning objectives. And I said, please give me three of the most ideal intended learners. So it went ahead and gave me three ideal intended learner profiles. Now look over here and you'll see this here, this content is where I asked it for four key learning objectives. That's right here. And then down below this description came from ChatGPT and so on. So the basics of what I needed, these key learning objectives, who this course is for, the description, it was all from ChatGPT because ChatGPT made the course. So guess what? It's going to know better than anyone, quote unquote anyone, what should be in the course, right? Then I give it some additional examples to add to the course, but that's the basics of how I made a mini course in literally, I think it took maybe two hours max to do the whole thing uh, that now pays me an ongoing passive income from putting it on this course platform where it's already bringing the students to me. So that's an opportunity I wanted to share. If you like the idea of creating mini courses that pay you ongoing passive income, or if you've always wanted to create your own course and you wanna learn how to use ChatGPT to do that, I'm gonna have a link to a course that I created about this. I personally created, not ChatGPT, with my experience creating 105 courses. I'm gonna have a link to that in the description below. But for sure what you wanna do is join my free newsletter at the link here, because that's where we're going to show you all the latest strategies, the latest hacks, the latest ways to use AI as leverage for you and your business and your ability to make money. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.